Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to solve question 54 of the NEET 2023 from the chemistry section. It is based on Lassan's test for nitrogen. We'll see the test for nitrogen, detection of nitrogen, detection of only sulfur, detection of both nitrogen and sulfur, and last is halogens. X is what? X is halogens. What is halogens? Chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Okay, these three ions are most common. So we see for chloride, bromide, and iodide in this in this video. So the question is in the Lassan's extract of organic compound, both nitrogen and sulfur are present, which gives blood red color with ferric ion that is Fe3 plus due to formation of. Okay, so the blood red precipitate on reaction with Fe3 plus is due to the formation of which complex so four options are given and we have to select the correct option so for this what we will do we will see for the reactions for all the tests starting from what exactly we do in less science test is it is also called a sodium fusion test why it is called a sodium fusion test because first step is formation of a sfe or it is also called a sodium fusion extract so what we do in this test is you take a test tube and you add a small amount of sodium okay and then you heat it okay you attach a burner and you heat this okay you heat it you will get a molten sodium mixture and then in this molten sodium this is what this is molten sodium in this what you will do you will add a small amount of the organic compound that you want to analyze okay organic compound that you want to do the test of that amount that organic compound you will be adding and then what will happen is you will add that and again you will heat okay so that what will happen this is molten organic compound is also molten they will mix together and they will create what they will create a mixture and then when what we will do we will heat this and continue heating until this test tube becomes red hot the color of this test tube becomes red hot until then we will heat it and then what is done is this test tube we pour it in a in a evaporating dish containing water okay you have to plunge this into this so that the extracts of the tube are dissolved in this and then you crush it and then again you heat it for some time and finally what you will be getting is called as a sodium fusion extract it is called as sodium fusion extract and this sodium fusion extract is then used to uh, detect, detect the other elements like nitrogen, sulfur and halides. Okay, this sodium fusion extract we are going to react with some other chemicals to find out which elements are present. Okay, so first is we see the test for nitrogen. Okay, test for nitrogen what do we do? We take sodium fusion extract, we add ferrous sulfate and we add sodium hydroxide what do we get is we get fe this is which oxidation state plus two so this is ferrous ferrous hydroxide and sodium sulfate now this ferrous hydroxide will then react with sodium cyanide okay it will react with sodium cyanide this base and sodium cyanide will react first to form a complex that is called as sodium ferrocyanide Okay, this sodium ferrocyanide, then we add what? We add ferric chloride. Okay, we prepare a solution of ferric chloride, which is light green in color. Okay, we prepare a solution of ferric chloride and we add. Okay, what all things we add? We add ferrous sulfate, we add ferric chloride and sodium fusion extract. Okay, both these three things we add. And at the end, what do we get? We get a blue color, a dark blue color. It is called as Prussian blue color. Okay, it can be asked here it is not asked but it can be asked in another question that the Prussian blue color in sodium fusion test is due to which complex then the answer will be this Fe4, Fe, Cn6, 3 plus this is plus 3 oxidation state inside ion is plus 2 so that is why name is ferric ferrocyanide ferric means Fe3 plus ferro means Fe2 plus this is Fe3 plus ferro means Fe2 plus Okay, you have to remember the formula of this complex and its color. It is Prussian blue color. 
this was test for nitrogen okay next is when only sulfur is present what is a test for sulfur that we have to see now sulfur there are two tests one is you do sodium nitroprusside test that is there is one reagent that is called as sodium nitroprusside from where we get this nitroprusside ion so generally sulfur is present in the form of s2 minus ion this is which ion this is called as sulfide ion a sulfide ion will react with this nitroprusside ion that is sodium nitroprusside is what two sodium ions and then this complex ion fe cn5 no this is sodium nitroprusside this is added in the solution so first of all what will happen this sodium nitroprusside will form a complex with this sulfide ion then what is the color of that it is violet color so another question can be framed is when we get a violet color in a sodium fusion test or lassine test it is because of which complex then this complex also you have to remember it is because of this complex iron cn5 nos this is a ligand nos is what nos is a ligand so this complex so they can ask you either the color of this complex second type of question is they can ask you the formula of the complex as they have asked in this question or the third one is they can give you the color and they can ask you this is for which ion this is for test of sulfur okay and another test is lead acetate test so what you do again you uh, take the extract and what you add is you add lead acetate okay you will get what you will get a black ppt grayish black ppt and acetate ion okay that was a test for sulfur two test one is sodium nitroprusside test you get violet color another is lead acetate test lead acetate is lead ch3 coo twice okay you get black ppt and the third one is when both sulfur and nitrogen are present it, this is for this question first what you do to the sodium fusion extract we add fe3 plus ion and then we add what this is already present okay carbon you get from the compound organic compound that we are adding all the organic compound will contain carbon then sulfur is also present and nitrogen is also present then what which ion is formed this is scn minus okay fe3 plus reacts with this ion what do we get is we get this complex is formed due to due to presence of both sulfur and nitrogen and what is the color of this complex blood red color okay so this is a correct answer fe scn charge is 2 plus see here charge was plus 3 3 minus 1 is 2 so that is why here the overall charge is plus 2 okay next is what other possible question they can ask last is test for halides chloride bromide iodide which reagent we take we take silver nitrate and if chloride is present we get a silver chloride precipitate which is white in color and then you add ammonium hydroxide then the precipitate dissolves soluble in nh4oh ammonium hydroxide now if bromide and iodide is present the color is same that is pale yellow color pale means light yellow color okay pale yellow color ppt is formed now how do you differentiate whether it is bromide or iodide so the difference is that the silver bromide is partially soluble in ammonium hydroxide that is some only some amount is soluble and silver iodide is completely insoluble okay it will not dissolve at all so in this way we can differentiate between silver bromide and silver iodide so this is the end of this video and uh, let us see what is the correct answer so these were the options the correct answer was this is blood red color okay the correct answer is option 1 this is what this is which color we had seen this is prussian blue color test of nitrogen this complex we had seen in test of nitrogen and sodium thiocyanide this is what this is colorless or you can say white color this is white in color okay and this also we had seen this is which color purple color test for this was for the test of sulfur right sodium nitroprusside test
Okay, so the correct answer for this question is option 1. I hope you have understood the solution. Now this was for na both nitrogen and sulfur. Next time they can ask for any other uh, complex that is let's say test for nitrogen only nitrogen test for only sulfur or the two tests for sulfurs that is other test also they can ask that is lead acetate test where we got black precipitate. I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you.